Based upon your feedback, in Mari 1.4 we've introduced an updated environment sphere shader module. This allows you to use an image such as this spherical map that I've got here, along with a blend amount, full off start and end, to add an environmental reflection covering the entirety of your model. Now whilst this is extremely useful, something that you might find yourself doing in production is to mask this effect by a painted reflection map. Now we actually have a reflection map painted up, so I'm going to use my I hotkey to show you guys that one. So I'm going to make sure I'm on my default shader, I'm going to scroll down to wet map, and there it is. So we want this reflection to appear in these sections that are white or grey, and not to appear in the sections that are black. So I'm going to go back to my comp shader by hitting I, and then selecting Mari 1.4 comp. And then in my shader module list, I'm going to come down, I'm quickly going to disable my environment sphere to get rid of that effect. Come down to add new shader module, and as you may have guessed, we have a masked version of this module, masked environment sphere. Now I'm going to add this in, and we quickly need to add in the same image into this module as well, so I'm just going to click and drag from one thumbnail to the other. And at this point, if I go down to current channel and select wet map, you can see the reflection is really only appearing in the sections that were white in our mask. Now at this point we get the same fall off start and end that we can set up and use to ensure we're only getting those reflections exactly where we want them. So that is the environment sphere and masked environment sphere shader modules in Mari 1.4.